KBD 300V keyboard with the built-in monitor in the side super duper rare keyboard very hard to come by I have always wanted one of these and here it is once in a blue moon you'll see them pop up on eBay flea bay as I like to call it and they, uh, they, they range in price some people want a ridiculous amount for them sometimes you get them reasonable anything under a hundred you know that's fine now the trick to this is getting the monitor to work this functions like a regular KBD 300 keyboard it claims that it's only compatible with the CM6700 series matrix switcher I have a 6800E and I plugged it in and it worked fine right into the the local keyboard powered port now there's one other video of one other guy who has one of these Son Karshi on YouTube in Australia uh, interestingly enough one of the first guys that I got in contact with when I was starting to hook up my system and uh, he really knew a lot about these things but he doesn't seem to be making videos anymore but uh, if you search KBD 300V on Google pretty much uh, that's the only result that's going to come up now to get this to work uh, you're supposed to use what's called a video interface the KBD 300V video interface which is basically a breakout box that uh, ties in the data and the uh, video input that's that's really all there is to it um, now that's the easy way and proper way of doing it I have never seen one of those sell separately online and none of this stuff is manufactured anymore this was uh, I guess these didn't sell too well so there's not too many of them out there that's why they're, they're hard to come by the other thing that I've noticed is there's two models one that only has three controls over here and the screen appears to be a bit smaller and uh, this maybe is revision 2 or version 1 that has the larger monitor with the color and the brightness controls so of course I don't have this uh, breakout box or video interface module and um, I'm going to show you my way of getting video into the back of the unit now on his video he shows you how to just tie into the, the RJ45 wall block I tried that I couldn't get it to work I don't know what was going on, there's some funny business with the pins, I was getting power um, on the pins that are supposed to be blank and whatnot, and I, I just couldn't get it to work. So what I've got ahead and done, very simple, you take off the two side panels of the unit, slide it out opposite end to the switch, the entire thing is going to come out. You will have to disconnect this power cord for the switch. We are dealing with an LCD monitor here, so don't stick your fingers under there, you can get a nasty shock and there's this one other connector that I'm going to undo you can see I've unplugged it from the board and I went ahead and I just tied in regular BNC into the connection that was labeled video that's it I drilled a hole in here I put a panel mount BNC connector the black is the ground and the positive is the video core and that's all there is to it. This whole thing slides out and you'll see this, this two pin connector on the board plugged right in and it's labeled video. And uh, I'm not going to take the whole thing out now because it's a little tricky to get back in. But uh, you have to be careful not to pinch the wires when you're putting this stuff back in. And I didn't cut off the connector because I wasn't sure if this was going to work. So I just stuck my wires into there and uh, that's all there is to it. So now I'll plug it in and show you that it works. Okay, so I am renovating in here, so it is a bit of a mess, but basically this goes right into the local keyboard COM5 in the back of my CM6800. So where you would put in a KBD 300A. And this is monitor 2 in the back of it. So you can see the keyboard comes on. And we can switch it on here, we have brightness control and cycle through the cameras and it works just fine now this claims to draw 8 watts so on a longer cable run like this we're gonna have some voltage loss and I don't know what the uh, what the power output is of that thing, it's obviously not made for uh, to draw that kind of power but it, it seems to be working so maybe I'll put a, a wall block with the power supply 
a little bit closer if we get into any issues, but uh, that uh, that's really it. I'm amazed that this thing works. Really, really cool unit. You also have a stand on the back which gives you like 20 degrees upright. And I'll show you here. This is video out of the spot monitor of the DVR. So we'll get split screens. adjust the darkness and brightness. You do have some kind of a color adjustment here. These have all snapped into black and white now so we're not going to see too much. But uh, there you go. KBD300V CM6800E matrix switcher and we tied video directly into the monitor. That's all it is, is a little monitor with uh, analog video input. No dark magic.